Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today to hear all about our top 10 last minute rail getaway trips here with Amtrak Vacations. I want to go ahead and introduce myself. I'm Jacqueline Malecki, your webinar host. And I am excited because at the end of this presentation, I'll be giving away a $100 Amtrak Vacation gift certificate to one lucky attendee. All you have to do to win is just be present at the end of this webinar here. But stay tuned because we also have some exclusive discounts just for all of you for taking the time to attend today. And to book any of these vacation packages, you can give us a call at 1-800-AMTRAK2 or call your local travel agent. Now, if you do have any questions at all throughout this presentation, please feel free to type them into your questions box right on the right-hand side of your screen there, and we'll make sure to spend some time at the end answering all those questions. So let's get right to it. So why should you travel with Amtrak Vacations? Well, first of all, it's a bucket list experience to travel by train. You're going to see some beautiful sights in parts of the country you would never see by flying or driving. There's room to roam on board. You're not stuck in your seat like you are in a car or on an airline. You can get up, walk around, stretch your legs, maybe go to the observation car to take in those beautiful views there. It's less hassle when you travel with us because we make sure to take care of everything for you, not just your rail, but we're also booking your hotel accommodations and the different destinations that you're going to, your sightseeing and attractions, even some of the meals. The train offers city-to-city -city service. Now, what I mean by this is the train will pick you up right in the heart of one city and bring you right to the next, right to downtown, city center, or right to the national park. You can satisfy your hunger on board the train. On the long distance train, there's a dining car with the chef that's preparing the meals there. So it's not like airline food. It doesn't come to your seat prepackaged there. The food really is spectacular. And they also have a snack car on all of the trains as well. If you just want to grab kind of a quick bite there. And we have lots of flexibility with our packages. We have daily departures, and we can customize anything to make it fit right into your vacation needs. Now, I always love showing this picture of the Amtrak route system here, because a lot of people don't realize the extent that Amtrak travels to. So it's the 46 of the 48 continuous states. The only two it does not go to are South Dakota and Wyoming. So many possibilities for your next vacation. Now, here with Amtrak Vacations, we do have a few different types of products. So I do want to take a second and just kind of run through the different ones. And then I have a special guest speaker who's going to show you some of the different types and packages that we have. We have our independent rail journeys. Those are our multi-city trips. We include your hotels, sightseeing tours, and you're going to take the train from city to city. We have our family adventures, great for multi-generational travelers, lots of family-friendly activities. We have our rail experiences, where most of the time is on board the train, taking in those beautiful views traveling across America. We have our rail and sail program. You don't just have to fly to your departure port city for your cruise and fly right back home. You can take a nice scenic train ride, spend a few days exploring. And we also have our rail getaways. Single city trip, we add that Amtrak train from your local Amtrak station. But now it is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker today, Jarrett Tettinger. Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Did you know that Amtrak uh, has over 500 different departure points? across the United States. Uh, as Jackie highlighted, we are in 46 of the 48 continuous United States. And we're very flexible. So if you wanted to train in and fly out, or vice versa, or fly into a destination, take the train in between, and then fly out at the end, you're absolutely able to do that just the same. Now let me go into some of our top last minute uh, rail getaways, experiences, and journeys. 
Uh, the number one I want to highlight this morning is the Northern Rail experience. It starts off in Chicago with two nights highlighted on our Empire Builder service heading through the northern part of the country, into Seattle, from Seattle heading down to San Francisco, and then back into Chicago. Now, if you notice, there is no pre-organized night in Chicago. Of course, any of our vac rail vacation specialists, as well as any of your local travel agents, are able to add a night at the beginning or the end or an extended stay in Chicago. No problem at all. But we just have it as a starting from departure point as a part of this package. You can see the Empire Builder service heading out through the northern part of the country. The Empire Builder was voted number two of the best, most scenic train routes in the country, so it's very, very popular. You'll be heading into Seattle for two nights where you'll get a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour of the city. Uh, I love it because Seattle, the Emerald City as it's called, it's gleaming, it's beautiful, it's a great metropolitan city right on the ocean. Uh, you'll get spots uh, to sightsee such as the Pioneer Square, such as the Seattle Waterfront. You'll head out to the famous Space Needle. And then you'll head down on the Coast Starlight, which was the number one best voted uh, scenic train route in the country. Actually, on this trip, you get the number one, two, and three most scenic train routes, so it's very popular. You'll head into San Francisco, where you'll get a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour of San Francisco. Of course, that includes the Golden Gate Bridge. Of course, it includes the famous Pier 39, where you'll get to go and take snapshots of the famous sea lions that are grazing there, as well as the major metropolitan areas of the city, such as Chinatown, and Union Square. Uh, you'll also get a very popular dinner at Pier 39. So you'll get there, you'll get to see the boats coming in in the evening and get a delicious seafood dinner on Pier 39 in San Francisco. From there, you'll take the number three voted best scenic train route in the country, the California Zephyr. Once again, you get the number one, number two, and number three most scenic train rides in the country on this trip. This will be heading back through the heartland of the country and back into Chicago. Uh, the Northern Rail Experience, nine days in total. Very popular. This is our number three best-selling uh, package that we have at Amtrak Vacations right now. If you want to get on this trip, I highly suggest calling up as soon as you can. Now, if you're coming out of the Southern California area or really anywhere in California and you're looking to do a last-minute train trip to the Grand Canyon, the rails to the Grand Canyon is the best option for you. It starts off in Chicago, uh, Los Angeles rather, sorry, as a jumping off point, heading down to Williams, Arizona, a very famous Route 66 city with a journey into the Grand Canyon. Round trip from Los Angeles, now we can customize this if you're coming out of different areas of California such as San Diego or San Francisco uh, or areas in the, of the like. We absolutely can get you customized to coming from that area, but Los Angeles is the most co common jumping off point here. Now you'll be heading into Williams. Once again, that's a famous Route 66 town. Uh, you'll actually get to board a famous steam liner train in Williams. So what you'll do is you'll get in in the morning from your overnight train trip from Los Angeles. You'll have a nice hearty breakfast in Williams that morning. Then at, they actually go out and they do a uh, kind of a fake shootout. It's really great for the kids. It's really funny. Uh, they really camp it up. And then you board a steam liner train that heads right into the canyon. You'll be going through the desert and the Ponderosa forests and head into Grand Canyon National Park. There you'll do a motor coach Grand Rim tour of the park and that does include a lunch. So it's really nice. You stop at one of the famous canyon lodges. You'll do a nice lunch very leisurely and then you board a motor coach tour of the canyon that hits three to four major overlook points of the canyon. Definitely a great time for 
uh, sightseeing, for picture taking, especially if you're looking to do a really nice family trip into Grand Canyon. From there, you'll head back out of the canyon. You'll do a nice dinner in Williams that evening and then head back to Los Angeles. It's a five-day round trip tour altogether, and it's perfect for any last-minute trips saying, hey, I want to hit one of the major national parks. Now, this year, I do want to let you know that it is the centennial of the national parks, a uh, 100-year anniversary, so Grand Canyon is selling out very quickly. Please call in as soon as you can, and we'll get you booked into a great Grand Canyon trip. Now let's head to the San Francisco Bay Area for the San Francisco Ultimate Getaway. This was the number two best-selling ultimate getaway that Amtrak Vacations can provide for you. Here you can see the beautiful San Francisco Bay City right there. You can see the famous streetcars that will be heading around the city. Now, this package is fantastic. It includes three nights hotel accommodations. So really, if you're coming from the California area or the Pacific Northwest, this is a really great package. Get you three nights stay in San Francisco, a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour of the city. And that's a 48-hour hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour. So you'll get to take it all around the city. You get the city pass with, that includes admission to the Aquarium of the Bay. It includes admission to the De Young Museum. It will include admission and fast pass to all the major attractions in San Francisco, as well as a dinner uh, on Pier 39. Once again, you'll get to sit there in the evening as the sun is setting. You'll see the sea lions before you, the boats coming in, a very scenic, beautiful sight for San Francisco. Now, here is one thing that Amtrak Vacations is very excited to be able to provide you is access to the Canadian rail system via rail. So if you're coming out of the Pacific Northwest, you're coming out of California, and you're looking to do a trip up into the Canadian Rockies, well, this is the trip for you. It's called the Canadian Rockies Adventure. Now, you can see there's a jumping off point there for Vancouver. If you're looking to come from the States and take the train across, absolutely Amtrak Vacations is easily able to provide you that service. You can be coming up from the Coast Starlight. You can be coming up from the Cascade service up in the northeast region of the, or northwest region of the United States, rather, and go up into Vancouver. Uh, you'll do a train trip overnight on the Via Rail system. It's the Canadian is the name of the train. Head up into Jasper. So here you start in Vancouver. It's known as the Hollywood of the North. Once again, like Seattle, a great northwestern metropolitan city right on the ocean. Uh, the reason it's called the Hollywood of the North is you'll notice that there's many movies and television shows that are actually uh, uh, produced there. And you'll be heading out from Vancouver. Once again, there's no overnights uh, like you'll, you saw in the Northern Rail experience. There was no pre-included overnights in Chicago. We do the same here with Vancouver. Vancouver is largely a jumping off point, so to speak. However, we're more than happy to add a pre-night in Vancouver, a post-night, a little extra extended stay if you would like. And you'll head up in the Canadian Rockies up to Jasper. There you'll do three nights hotel accommodations in Jasper. That works perfectly because the Via Rail system only works three days a week uh, going up through the Canadian Rail system. Now, uh, if you have any questions in regards to what days it runs, feel free to call into our vacation consultant here at Amtrak Vacation or go to your local travel agent. They'll be more than happy to assist you. Here you'll do a sightseeing tour of the Icefields Parkway and the Glacier Skywalk. It's great. You actually take a modified um, uh, uh, ramp vehicle into the Icefields Parkway. There's some snow and ice that have literally been there since the Ice Age. You'll get to go to the very easily accessible Glacier Skywalk and walk around there, get some sightseeing tour high above the canopy of the trees. And then you'll go to Moline Lake with a boat cruise of Moline Lake. You can see it right there. Very scenic, very beautiful, nestled up in the uh, Jasper Icefields mountain ranges. 
It's very beautiful up there in the Canadian Rockies. Definitely a bucket list experience for many. The Canadian Rockies adventure is six days total, heading up from Vancouver, Jasper, and then round trip back to Vancouver. Now, another northwestern tour that we have for an independent rail journey is three cities that are very commonly paired together, Seattle, Vancouver, and Victoria. And you'll see that there's two nights in each of those major cities. You'll start off in Seattle with a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour of the city. Once again, you'll get to go to Pioneer Square. You'll get to go to the Seattle waterfront. And then, of course, end up at the Space Needle. If you're going to Seattle, you absolutely have to do the Space Needle. It what make, it's what makes the city so iconic. Now, what's great is at the base of the Space Needle is the Chihuly Garden and Glass Exhibit. It's this giant exhibit with all these crazy, very beautiful uh, gla uh, glass blown uh, architecture with a beautiful garden, flowers are all around it. It's fantastic. Then you'll head up to Vancouver. Uh, you'll do a hop on, hop off sightseeing tour of the city. Here you can see uh, the edge of Stanley Park uh, walk, looking out into the beautiful Vancouver waterfront. Uh, and you'll also get an admission to the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Uh, for those who don't know, Vancouver is a very lush, uh, very beautiful uh, city for plants and wildlife. The Capilano Suspension Bridge is one of the largest uh, forest areas in that part of the country. Uh, it's these beautiful uh, giant domestic plants and, and trees with a walk bridges all through them. And the great thing about it is they actually include free shuttle from your hotel of your choice to the Suspension Bridge Park. From there, you'll head on to Victoria. A, a boat will take you right across to the island of Victoria, uh, where you'll experience a classic afternoon tea at the famous Fairmont Empress. Um, you, of course, can uh, purchase uh, the uh, overnight in the Empress if you want to stay there. Uh, you'll, fa you'll visit the famous Bootchart Gardens, which is this beautiful quarry that was turned into this lush uh, gardens that you can walk through, uh, plenty of uh, very easy walking areas, as well as beautiful flowers. And they do rotate the flower, uh, the, the flower decorations from season to season. Uh, so it's never the same, uh, and, but it is always gorgeous. You'll also include a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour of the city, so you'll be able to get on and off at your leisure. All day in to total is seven days, Seattle, Vancouver, and Victoria. Now, here is one of our top-selling Midwestern pr products, which is called the Jazz, Blues, and Rock and Roll. Two nights in Chicago, an overnight on the famous City of New Orleans train route down to Memphis, two nights there, and then a journey down to New Orleans for three nights. Start off in Chicago with a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour. Of course, that'll take you to the Sears Tower, Millennium Park. It'll take you to the waterfront, anywhere that you, if you want to go shopping on the Michigan Mile, it's perfect for you. You'll head on overnight. Now, Jackie highlighted some of the uh, great options earlier that you have on Amtrak, such as the dining options. Dining on Amtrak, I will highlight this in a few minutes, but it is a total experience. We essentially call it a rolling restaurant. You have a full menu, and everything is cooked to order. Here you can see some people really enjoying the Amtrak meals. There's the breakfast going on right there. Uh, I highly suggest the omelets. I'm not kidding here, folks. It is absolutely delicious. So you'll head overnight. If you do upgrade on the train, and we always have that option to a roomette or a bedroom, and I'll highlight those accommodations in a minute as well. Uh, you'll have your meals included, and you'll arrive in Memphis. Memphis is fantastic. You have Beale Street with all the jazz bars and the blues bars. Of course, you have Graceland, Elvis's home which is really fantastic. In fact, included in this package is a tour that hits all of the major Memphis sites. 
such as the statues of the two kings, which is Elvis, the king of rock and roll, as well as B, the famous BB King. And then you'll head out into Graceland, which is really beautiful. It's, it's right outside the city. It, you actually really get choked up as you're going along the tour. It's a self-guided tour uh, that is narrated by John Stamos, who famously was very uh, uh, popular with Elvis on the show Full House. You do a full tour of Graceland, and you actually end up going through some of the major Elvis uh, highlights, such as his big 1976 uh, promotion tour. You see all of his famous suits, all of his platinum albums. It's fantastic. Then you'll head down into the Crescent City of New Orleans. It's a same-day trip, one day. It's not an overnight. You get on in the morning. From Memphis, you get into New Orleans in the afternoon, and you have three nights stay in New Orleans. You'll do a battlefield cruise, which is fantastic. You'll go by many of the famous Civil War areas of New Orleans, as well as areas where Jean Lafitte did his piracy back in the 1800s. And of course, you'll get a full city tour. So the city tour will take you to the French Quarter. It'll take you to the cities of the dead, which are the giant mausoleum cities areas of the cemeteries where uh, they used to do voodoo back in the early 1900s. You'll get to go to Canal Street and do shopping along there. It's a full day of sightseeing. Jazz, blues, and rock and roll is a total of nine days. Chicago, Memphis, and New Orleans. And definitely, if you want to highlight this tour, Book it as soon as you can because New Orleans is very famously hard to get hotel space at. There's constant festivals, especially if you wanted to say go last minute in the summer. Uh, people are always traveling down there. Call us, call your local travel agent or into your local uh, um, Amtrak specialists. Southern hospitality, if you're coming anywhere from the Northeast, or from the Virginia or North Carolina region, this tour is spectacular for you. Two nights in Washington, D.C., heading down to the beautiful coast city of Charleston and the very historic Savannah, Georgia. Starting off in Washington, what I love about Washington is that the majority of the things to do there, all the Smithsonian's, the monuments, those are all free to get to. So what we do is a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour. It'll take you all to all of the major museums, all of the major monuments, and you just walk in. It's fantastic. A really great area to visit, especially if you're a fan of politics, fan of history. Here you can see a stop off at the White House, of course, is included. And then the Monuments by Moonlight Tour, which is a really unique way of presenting the monuments to you. You'll hit the Washington Monument. Martin Luther King Memorial, the FDR Memorial, you'll go to the Jefferson Monument. And what's nice is they're all lit up in their beautiful patriotic glory. Of course, we just had the 4th of July, so this is a perfect time to be heading down to Washington. And what's really nice is you go there in the evening where there's no crowds. You can walk up and take as many pictures as you want. It's all freely accessible to you. It's a really unique way of seeing our nation's capital. From there, you'll take a same-day trip down to Charleston. Charleston's beautiful. It's very historic. There's wonderful architecture from the 1800s, as well as beautiful churches that line the streets. It's a great walking city. It's very accessible just to walk around. Uh, famously, Edgar Allan Poe has major um, monuments and whatnot throughout the city of Charleston. Uh, you can go right up to the waterfront. The Battery is the major park in the waterfront. Here we give you a city tour that will take you to Rainbow Row, which is this beautiful row of houses, this neighborhood that's all painted these, ink, uh, these uh, 1800s houses. They're painted into these beautiful pastel hues. Um, and you'll also get to go to the Magnolia Plantation, where the beautiful flowers line up the front of the plantation home. You're right on the water, so in the bayous, so you can go up and see the egrets and alligators. It's absolutely fantastic. From there, you'll head down to Savannah, and look at how beautiful and classic Savannah is. Uh, you'll go and do a historical tour of the city. Uh, 
Savannah is known for its many famous mansions that were owned by the governors and the city's legislators, and you're free to go to any of them on the tour that you have included. Uh, you also do a dinner at the Pirate's House in Savannah, which has been open since the, 18, uh, the 1700s, really. So uh, a couple hundred years going, fantastic, really historical, really classical. Southern Hospitality, eight days in total, uh, fantastic tour. Now, we do want to highlight, of course, I, I talked about New Orleans a few minutes ago. Uh, one of our last minute getaways that we wanted to include is the New Orleans Ultimate Getaway. Now, just so you know, we of course have many packages, many configurations to choose from. As we highlighted, you can depart from 46 of the 48 continuous United States. But we have some packages with the rail pre-baked into it. So if you were to go to, say, AmtrakVacations.com to get a rough estimate of what the package price would be to travel from your uh, local travel location, such as Chicago, if you're coming out of the Midwest, you can see what some of the starting from prices are. The New Orleans Ultimate Getaway is a popular trip coming out of Chicago, so of course we have a round trip option out of there. You have some other round trip options out of New York, Boston, San Francisco, to some of the major locations around the United States. Here you can see the beautiful French Quarter with all the bright colors. Uh, New Orleans, of course, is known for its lush plant life. You can see some of that in the background. Uh, walking through the French Quarter is always a fun thing to do. Uh, this package is really great. Uh, you can see some of the jazz heritage and the blues heritage that is highlighted there. Uh, once again, New Orleans is one of our top selling destinations. It's connected through the city of New Orleans, which is a famous train route that heads from Chicago on the round trip here down to New Orleans and back. Also, if you're coming by way of the, of the uh, Sunset Limited from California or the Crescent from New York, those are some of the other round trip options that we have. This package actually includes three nights hotel accommodations. A visit ticket power pass that will give you access to almost two dozen different tours, attractions, and activities around the city. So say you wanted to go to Blaine Kern's Mardi Gras World, located on the New Orleans waterfront. You can see where all of the Mardi Gras floats are actually constructed. You could also go to the Audubon Aquarium or the Audubon Zoo. Uh, you'll have access to the Cabildo, which is the Louisiana State Museum located next to Jackson Square, which is really famous down in New Orleans. The Power Pass will give you an option to all of those attractions. You also get a choice of a Swamp and Bayou tour. If you're going to be in New Orleans, why not go out and try out the bayous, see all the alligators, the egrets, see all the uh, plant, beautiful plant life that are there. Of course, you also have options for the city tour. Uh, once again, that city tour, like a highlight in the jazz, blues, and rock and roll presentation, gives you access to the cities of the dead, the mausoleums and cemeteries down there. You get to go to Jean Lafitte National Park. You can go to the New Orleans waterfront in Jackson Square in the French Quarter. Um, of course, you can take a tour. Another option is the Hurricane Katrina tour. So you'll go to various areas that were hit during Hurricane Katrina. They were actually built back up but still hold their historical significance. Uh, of course, Katrina only happened just a few years ago, but you know it's a big highlight of the city of what has been developed since the city came back online. Or, of course, the Steamboat Natchez Jazz Cruise. It's an evening cruise that goes out onto Lake, at the uh, Mississippi River, uh, where, a where a wonderful jazz band is playing. There's snacks, there's wine, there's beer. You get a full New Orleans experience that way. And of course, in this package, you have round trip accommodations from Chicago. But of course, we can customize the New Orleans Ultimate Getaway to get you coming from whatever city you'd like to travel from. And the New York City Big Apple Deluxe. So if you're looking to hit the Big Apple, this is the perfect option for you. Of course, you, you can see the park right there, Central Park. You can see some of the major skyscrapers. New York is one of Amtrak's top selling destinations. What's great about this package is that we give you tickets to Broadway. Um, if you're going to hit New York, of course you're going to want to head over to Broadway. 
and we actually include a pre-baked in ticket for you. So we give you a dozen different Broadway show options to choose from. We already have the ticket configured into the pricing. So you just call up and you say you want to hit the Lion King, you want to go to the Phantom of the Opera, you want to see Motown, the musical, we already have all those options for you. You can see the Lion King there, you can see Madame Tussauds in the background. Once again, you are free to pick from almost a dozen to two dozen different Broadway show options. What's great about this package is that it includes three nights in the big city, the Big Apple, New York City. We give you a New York classic tour, which is fantastic because it's not just a 48-hour hop-on, hop-off pass, which is going to encompass the majority of your time in New York, but you also have options for either the top of the Rockefeller Center or the Empire State Building Observatory admission. So you have pick from one of those. You also get a ferry ticket over to the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. Now, if that's part of the National Parks Association, you do have to get yourself admission into the Statue of Liberty or Ellis Island, but we at least get you a ferry over there. And then we give you to a dinner at The View, which is a revolving restaurant at the top of the Marriott Marquis. And so you get to go up and you'll get a 360 degree view of the city. The, it rotates just slightly as you're going around, so you get a full view during your dinner. It's a fantastic inclusion to get a full New York experience. And then if you're looking to once again head across the border, this time from the Northeast, why not hit Niagara Falls? If you're coming out of New York, as you can see, we do a round trip option here. We can do Boston, we can do Philadelphia, we can do Washington, D.C., we can do Chicago as jumping off points to head across for the Niagara Falls family adventure. This is good for young families, this is good for multi-generational, this is good if you're just a couple that's looking to take a quick family trip up to Niagara Falls. We include attractions such as the Hornblower Niagara Cruise. Now a lot of people can uh, ask if that cruise is the same as the Maid of the Mist. It is. It was just the Maid of the Mist, which is one of the famous cruises up on Niagara Falls, changed the name a couple of years ago. Same cruise, same experience. In fact, you'll see how up close and personal you get in a moment. You also get the journey behind the falls, which are the really cool caverns and tunnels that are behind the falls. So you literally get to experience the falls from inside the falls itself. That's pretty exciting. Here you can see the journey to the falls. You actually go right up. You can see the mist coming right off of the water right there. We also give you a, a two-day WeGo Pass admission. So that's the hop-on, hop-off uh, transport up at Niagara Falls. That will take you all around the city. And you can see the journey to the falls there right up they're up close and personal. Uh, they do provide ponchos, so don't worry, you're, you're covered that way, but it is a really wonderful way to experience Niagara Falls. We also include the indoor water park, so if you are a young family that is heading up, you have a couple of young kids or grandparents if you're traveling with the grandkids and you want to give them a water park experience, it's perfect. It's ginormous, it sits right on the edge of the falls, so you get to actually see the falls from the water park and experience a giant indoor water park with slides, pools, whirlpools. It's fun for the kids, of course. And then admission to the Skylon Tower, which you can see right there. That's a tall observatory tower that sits right on the edge of the falls. If you're looking to take the kids, it's great to take them up there. You actually go on an elevator that looks out onto the falls as well. You'll head right up into the observatory admission. Now, if it's uh, husbands, you're looking to take your wives for a romantic trip, I always suggest taking them and using the Skyline admission uh, at the sunset. It's beautiful. You get to watch the sunset over the falls. Very romantic, very scenic. Niagara Falls Family Adventure, three days in total. Round trip train out of New York, but once again, of course, we can always do Chicago, Boston, et cetera, wherever is the closest locale to you as well as a journey behind the falls, the Hornblower Niagara Cruise. You'll actually get an indoor mission to the water park if you're traveling with the kids, and of course, admission to the Skylon Tower. 
Now, I do want to highlight a couple of different accommodations uh, for that are on the train. Of course, you have the coach accommodations, which is very comfortable. We kind of equate coach on an Amtrak train to business or first class on a major airline. There's more leg space. There's a more room to roam, as Jackie highlighted. You're not confined to your seat on Amtrak. Of course, you can walk around at your leisure. So that's very comfortable. Of course, there is a, a tray table that folds down. And on most of the trains, you actually also have a leg rest. So that's very comfortable. And then the roomette accommodations, one of the upgrade accommodations on the train, which is fantastic. You have the two seats during the day, a very big picture window. Here you can see the, uh, the grandmother with her granddaughter traveling on the California Zephyr heading through the desert. And of course, you have a table to fold out. So if you're a businessman or businesswoman looking to get some work done, you have a place to put your laptop. If you're family traveling, you want to play a game with the kids, you have the, the convenience and accommodation right there. And then at night, everything folds down to bunk sleeping accommodations. And then we have the bedroom, the deluxe bedroom, as we like to call it here. So it's a little more space than the roomette. You have a long couch. You have a reclining chair, and then, of course, the big picture window. Also, with the bedroom on the trains, you'll have the bathroom included within the room itself. The room at the bathroom is down the hall. Uh, with the bedroom, you have the room accommodation to yourself. Uh, and then, of course, at night, everything folds down to bunk sleeping accommodation. Here you can see a couple of examples of people getting a nice, relaxing rest on an Amtrak train. In fact, the upgrades are very widely uh, chosen for people. It makes things just that much more comfortable. And I'll highlight a couple of reasons in a second. One, of course, is you do have your privacy on the train. Here we have a couple of our friends. In fact, you can see Jackie in the uh, bottom corner staring out the window, enjoying the California coastline. We have some of our frequent Amtrak travelers waving to say hi to everybody. And then, of course, we have dining on the train, which is very popular uh, for several reasons. Uh, if you have a roomette or a bedroom on the train, all of your meals are included. So, of course, you would have the breakfast, lunch, and dinner for whatever time frame that you're actually traveling on the train. Uh, and the meals are, very, are always cooked to order. Uh, for breakfast, you could have French toast eggs, an omelet, what have you. Lunch, you have a hearty cheeseburger, or in my, for my opinion, one of the best salads I've ever had in my life, a giant mixed green salad with uh, ch grilled chicken on it. For dinner, you could have steak. Uh, you could have a pasta course. You could have chicken, whatever to your heart's desire, and it's all cooked to order. Now, Jackie, I did want to bring you back on because you have a couple of ways that you can describe how to book these fam fabulous Amtrak vacations. Well, thank you so much for all that great information, Jara, on some of the top packages that we have for our last-minute rail getaway trip. So everyone, that was just a small sample of what we do have to offer. We have so many more packages, too. You can check them all out and all of our destinations out online at amtrakvacations.com and just click right on our destinations tab there. So how do you book one of these great rail vacations? Well, there's a couple different ways. You can certainly call one of our vacation specialists at 1-800-AMTRAK2. That's 1-800-268-7252. You can visit our website at amtrakvacations.com. And you can also reach out to your local travel agent. Now, we do have some great discounts on the everyday Amtrak rail portion of your trip. There's one for anyone a part of Veterans Advantage. There's a great senior discount for anyone 62 or older. Triple A discount. Children on Amtrak are ages 2 to 12. And they receive 50% off the adult rail fare. And there's also a military discount for active military in their family. But what I'm really excited about is an exclusive discount just for all of you for taking the time to attend today. And that's on select independent rail vacations that we have. And if you book by July 20th, 
we'll give you $250 off per couple or $125 per person. And that promo code there is Webinar July. And again, you can save $250 per couple. I have another Jackie, great let me discount. ask you, is this, yeah. is this discount exclusive for the webinar attendees only? That is correct. You will not find this discount online promoted anywhere else. This discount is exclusively for all of you for taking the time and joining us today. And while it does apply to some of the packages that Jarrett mentioned, like the Southern Hospitality doing DC, Charleston, and Savannah, or Jazz Blues Rock and Roll doing Chicago, Memphis, to New Orleans, we can apply it to even more of our independent rail vacations. So we do have another great discount for all of you, and that's on our ultimate getaways. And again, if you book by July 20th, we'll give you $50 off per couple or $25 per person. And that promo code there is ALTGET25. Now, I know that's a lot of information that we've given you all today with all those promo codes there, all the packages that Jarrett covered. So there is a handout right on the right-hand side of your screen. So definitely click on that, download it, and you will have all the information there. Now, I do see a few questions that have been coming in during this presentation. Now, if anyone else does have any questions at this time, please feel free to type that into your questions box, and we'll go ahead and answer those for you. But actually, before I go ahead and do that, I do want to announce our lucky $100 Amtrak Vacations gift certificate winner, and that winner is... Libby Chernowski. So congratulations, Libby. You now have $100 to put towards your next Amtrak Vacations trip. All right. Let's congratulations, those, Libby. Yeah, let's get to some of those great questions there. So we have one from Melanie. Percentage-wise, about how booked up are long-distance train trips during July and August? Are many trains already booked up? That's a very good question, Melanie. So largely, yes, Amtrak sees a lot more traffic during the summer than it does some of the off-season. Uh, one of the reasons, of course, is that kids are out of school, and so the parents have a little more free time to take the kids on the vacations. Uh, additionally, Amtrak goes to most of the major national parks. And in this year, particularly with the 100-year anniversary of the national parks, people were booking into the trips far in advance, such as Glacier National Park, which the train goes right to the door of, or as we saw with the rails to the canyon, where it goes right into Williams, which is a Route 66 town that's only about an hour train ride, and you saw the Grand Canyon Railway heading into the canyon away from the Grand Canyon National Parks. Percentage-wise, I would say it's largely 65 to 70 percent booked up for the season. However, we, are, we do still have availability. Uh, it, so if you are looking to take a last minute train trip, you are absolutely free to call into our rail vacation specialists or your local travel agent. And we can probably still get you booked into a trip for the summer. Uh, additionally, we do, of course, head to the major cities as we saw in New York, Chicago, Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Boston, Washington, DC, etc. So if you are looking to go to those major cities, the hotels are additionally largely booked up. But because Amtrak Vacations has special deals with the hotels, we can still book you into a trip at this time. Awesome. So we have a question from Don. Do all trains have Wi-Fi? Are they reliable? So the majority of the trains do have Wi-Fi. In fact, on the short distance trains, you'll see the Northeast Regionals, the Pacific Surf Liners, the Wi-Fi is already installed. Some of the long distance trains don't have Wi-Fi in certain areas because they're traveling through very uh, scenic but uh, set apart areas of the country, such as through the forests, through the deserts, where Wi-Fi is just not reachable. So the ma majority of the trains do currently 
where Amtrak is looking to onboard more and more Wi-Fi into its long distance trains as well. Uh, but uh, there are some areas where Wi-Fi is inaccessible just because it is in areas of the country that is set apart. So we have a question from Melanie. It looks like she was looking at the rail experience packages and asking, can you go the opposite direction from Chicago to San Fran, then up to Seattle, and then back to Chicago on the Empire Builder? Yes. In fact, we have a program called the Pacific Rail Experience that does just that. Uh, it's a modified version of the Northern Rail Experience. Uh, in fact, if you look on AmtrakVacations.com, there's ver many various different versions of the Rail Experience programs. So we can absolutely have you going on that version of that trip. Though I do want to highlight very quickly, San Francisco is very popular to be traveling to in the summer. Uh, they enjoy a cruise season. They enjoy sightseeing season for families in Chicago. So if you are looking to book a trip that hits San Francisco as well as Seattle, book as soon as you can because the hotel space is very limited. Awesome. And it looks like we actually have a couple people that are asking about Amtrak guest rewards points, if they can use it on their vacation. Some are asking if they can redeem them. Do you mind just elaborating on that, Jared? Yes. Currently, Amtrak Vacations is absolutely able to help you earn guest rewards points. So whenever you call in to book with us, you would just want to mention that you're a guest rewards member. And at the time of booking, uh, please provide us with your guest rewards number and we will definitely apply that to your Amtrak services. Unfortunately, at this point, we're not able to redeem those points. So if you have a trip that you're looking to use the points towards, we unfortunately cannot book that for you at this point. However, if you are, say, a new member or you just want to bank the points for later, for later on travel, we can absolutely help you earn the points currently. Uh, once again, just please provide us the point reward number uh, at the time of booking. So a question from Libby. Do all overnight trains have the dining car and room options? Yes. The overnight trains do include the dining room option, except on the Silver Star, which, head, which heads from New York to Miami. Uh, there's two different train lines, the Silver Star and the Silver Meteor, that go on largely the same route. The Star is the only train that does an overnight through the United States that ha does not have a dining car option on it. However, the rest of them do. Uh, there's many long distance routes, as we saw on the map earlier. Those all do have the dining car. And as long as you upgrade to a sleeper accommodation on the train, all your meals are included. Now, if you do not have a sleeper accommodation on the train, you are able to access the, the dining car. However, it's on a first-come, first-served basis, and the meals do have to come out of pocket. Now, I do want to just take a second to highlight the Coast Starlight, which makes its way from Los Angeles all the way up to Seattle and vice versa. If you do want to upgrade to a sleeper accommodation on that route, you not only have access to the dining car, but you also have access to the exclusive parlor car which is solely exclusive to only those that are traveling on the, the Coast Starlight with a roomette or a bedroom included. And one thing I always suggest to anybody that's traveling on the Coast Starlight, especially if they're heading north, uh, heading north from Los Angeles, uh, for any elongated trips, so say Los Angeles up to San Francisco where it's a full day trip, you could always upgrade for a very short additional price to a roomette or a bedroom. That way you have your private accommodations during the day as well as your breakfast, lunch, and dinner included. Awesome. And we have a question from Suzanne. Can you talk a little bit about accommodations for people with disabilities? So yes, absolutely. We have uh, handicap accommodations on the train. Um, now, I do want to advise that there's only two on any given long-distance long train. So if you were looking to uh, travel uh, with a sleeper accommodation, I would definitely call in and book as soon as possible because there is only the two. But we absolutely have those available. It's on the first level of the train. Uh, and we, there is a bathroom included within the room. 
and everything folds down to sleeping accommodations. And all your meals are included within those accommodations as well. So the majority of the trains that are heading westbound from the Midwest have the dining car on the top level. Uh, if you're looking to be in one of the handicap accommodations, you can just tell your attendant you like to have your meals in the room, and they'll bring them right down for you, cook to order as well. So we absolutely can book you into one of those rooms on the train. So we have a question from Kathy. Can you combine the senior discount and AAA discount? Unfortunately, Kathy, at this point, you can only use one or the other. Uh, if you're a senior that's 62 or older, you're allotted a 15% discount. Uh, if you're uh, a AAA member, that's a 10% discount. So we definitely you know, would advise you, if you are 62 or older, uh, considered a senior, to use the senior discount because it gives you the little extra discount as well. But unfortunately, we cannot combine them currently. All right, we have a question from Libby. Could you go one way on a rail vacation that's marketed as round trip? So that's a very good question, Libby. The majority of our round-trip getaways uh, and round-trip ultimate getaways that you would see actually have independent versions that are not from any common point of destination. So I'll give you a hypothetical. If you're looking to go to Washington, D.C. from Albany, New York, uh, you might see a Washington, D.C. ultimate getaway round-trip from New York uh, or a round-trip or a Washington, D.C. ultimate getaway that's just itself. We can always add the train on from any point of origin from Amtrak to get you on your trip. So while you might not use the round trip getaway, you would just use the regular getaway that doesn't have the additional train included on it. And your vaca rail vacation specialists here at Amtrak Vacations are absolutely able to set that up for you, as well as any of your local travel agents. So we have a question from Mary. When is the best time to get good deals with Amtrak? So very good question. So the, basically how we would say it is the earliest you book it is the cheapest you're going to get it. So Amtrak can largely book up 11 months in advance. Now most of our packages are not available 11 months in advance. They're available you know, largely eight to nine months in advance. So it does stick around the same time frame roughly. So if you're looking for a tri trip for, say, the fall, book now. If you're looking for a trip for the winter, book now. If you're looking for a trip for any time this summer, book now. The earliest you book it is the cheapest you can get it, and that way you can award yourself with the best possible deal provided. Awesome. Plus, right now we have those exclusive webinar discounts too. So you definitely want to take advantage of those because, again, they are exclusively for all of you for taking the time to join us today. So some great discounts. And you're going to get an awesome price booking early, just as Jarrett mentioned. So we have a question from Thomas asking about the cost of parking and where. Do you want to just elaborate on parking situation kind of in general for the different stations for everyone to get an idea? Sure. Many of the major um, Amtrak stations do have parking. In fact, largely if you can, uh, for many of them, if you can prove that you're traveling by Amtrak, which makes sense if you're parking there, that uh, the parking is actually pre-included. Some have long-term uh, stay parking, some have long-term and short-term, uh, some, some have short-term and some don't have parking at all. But most of the major different Amtrak stations do have both short-term and long-term parking included. Uh, some of them you do have to pay out of pocket, and some of them are free to uh, just, if, as long as you're an Amtrak traveler, you can park and stay there. Uh, the best what we would suggest is calling into your Amtrak rail vacation specialist, and they can check on what the circumstances are for you, no problem at all. So we have a question from Sherry. As long as one upgrades from coach, are all meals included? Say that one more time, Jackie. It, it cut in and out just very slightly. Sorry apologize. about that. So we have Sherry asking, if she upgrades from coach, are the meals included? So if she upgrades to the room mat, to the bedroom. Absolutely. All the meals are included as long, when you upgrade to a room mat or bedroom. 
Now, I do want to highlight there is a first class service on some of the short distance train routes. Uh, the meals would not be included there because there would only be a cafe car on the train, not a dining car. But as long as you upgrade to a full roomette or a bedroom on the train, your meals are absolutely included and they're absolutely delicious just the same. All right, so we have from Lewis, uh, or more of a comment, all three of the routes, the Empire Builder, California Zephyr, and Coast Starlight are all awesome routes. So thanks for that, Lewis. I certainly agree with you. Probably the three top routes offered right there. We have a question Jackie. from Perry. Yep. Oh, I was just going to say, Jackie's right. The number one voted best train route in the country, Coast Starlight. Number two, Empire Builder. And number three, California Zephyr. Awesome. And we have from Terry, can rooms seat four adults? Uh, can rooms fit four adults? Unfortunately not. Uh, the majority of the rooms are built for two people to be in them. So two adults or one adult and one child, etc. Um, we do have a family bedroom that will fit two adults and two small children. And when I say small children, I mean ch a child that is maybe at tops eight or nine years old because the beds are quite small. Um, the deluxe bedrooms will very comfortably fit two adults or two adults and, if needed, a, uh, an infant or a toddler. But unfortunately, the rooms are not built to be big enough for four adults. What I would suggest is to purchase two roomettes or two bedrooms, uh, and largely we can get you in the same area of the car. Also, if you book early enough, there is a possibility if you book two bedrooms to remove the wall. In that case, uh, we could put the partition down and fit four adults in the bedroom suite, as it's known. Awesome. And we have Shannon asking, what is the web address that I should go to to use the promo codes? And can you please give them out again? Jared, would you mind just jumping back a, a screen and just going through those promos again? So we have for the Independent Rail Vacation, it's Webinar July. And for the Ultimate Getaway, it's the Ult Get 25. Again, definitely click on that handout because that will have those promo codes there and all the information. Uh, in order to use those promo codes, you're going to want to give us a call. Uh, our number is 1-800-268-7252. And any one of our vacation specialists will be able to assist you. Or you can reach out to your local travel agent and they will also be able to apply those promo codes for you. So we have a question from Daryl. Since this is a vacation, do you have flex payments available or is it pay in full at the time of booking? Jared, do you want to elaborate on the policy there? Absolutely. Very good question. So once again, of course, the earliest you book it is the cheapest you can get. And I always want to highlight that because I want to make sure our Amtrak Vacations customers are getting the best possible deal. Now, if you book 60 or more days out, which the majority of our Amtrak travelers do, you actually can put a deposit down, which is kind of rare within our uh, industry, but you can put a deposit down, and we will uh, hold the space for you. And you can make payments on it as you wish up until 60 days prior. At 60 days prior, we need the full payment. Now, if you book within 60 days, at that point, we do need the full payment as well. So once again, you know, if you do want to get yourself a good deal and you want to just put a small amount down so you know you're going on your trip and make payments towards it or eventually pay the full amount on a date that you prefer 60 days or more prior, then you can put a deposit. But once again, within 60 days, we would need full payment. All right, and we have Lynn asking, also, are the regular discounts, the senior, et cetera, combinable with the ultimate getaway one of $25? Yes. So any of the trips that we have that you have to add the rail into, so any of the getaways or the ultimate getaways that don't have the rail pre-included, you can absolutely get a senior discount on or AAA, military, et cetera, because uh, the rail at that point is we can discount on. And then, of course, because that is included within the uh, 
early booking discount options or webinar attendee discount options, you can, of course, add the $25 per person to the uh, reservation and get your discount. All right, we have time for one last question. We have one from Melanie. Do all long-distance trains have observation cars? Not all of them, Melanie. That's a very good question. So the more, majority of them do at most points in the year. Of course, like with any train or plane or, or mode of transportation, sometimes the car needs to be taken off for services, servicing and maintenance. Uh, but the majority of them do at most points during the year, especially during the high seasons. There are occasions, like I said, of course, where the observation cars are taken off for servicing. Um, but the Coast Starlight has it for the majority of the year, the Empire Builder as well, and the California Zephyr just the same. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for taking the time and joining us today. And thank you again, Jarrett, for joining me and telling everyone all about some of the great real vacations that we have. If anyone does have any other questions that you think of, please feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call. Call your local travel agent, and we can certainly help you out. So thank you, and hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you, everybody.